when I'm walking with a family that's hurting, I've heard a lot of things said. A lot of things said. And I walk with them in their pain. And I don't know if you've heard some of these things before when people are in pain and what's said to them, but it's things like, um, God will never give you more than you can handle when you're crushed and you can't stand up. Has anyone ever said that to you in a time that's really tough in your life? Did you hear it as this overwhelming positive thing? Can we be honest for a second? Did you hear it as, oh, I'm good now. Thank you for answering that question for me. God will never give you more than, it's God's timing. How many of that statement alone crushed you? It's God's timing. Here's another one that I hear a lot. I'll pray for you. Not bad in and of itself, right? But what you're looking at someone who's hurting and you're saying, I'll pray for you, not now. Not specifically, but I'm, I'm gonna pray for you. So you have God's timing and God will never give you more than you can handle and I'll pray for you. And all these things are met, are, are really in an essence to meet someone where they're at and they're hurting. And we have to ask ourselves a question is that what are we really afraid of when we're trying to stop people suffering? Are we afraid of walking into that? And what I want to do today is give you some practical ways to walk through that. Some practical ways to be with people. One thing that I do as a pastor when I'm walking and someone who's hurting, and this story is setting up for hurt. This is setting up for a good person who's had hurt that's coming into their life. If you are walking with someone who's hurt, instead of saying, I'll pray for you, the question that I ask is, what specific prayers do you have? What specific prayers do you have right now? And then I just listen. And then I ask this, can I pray for you right now? Not later, not I'll pray for you. What specific prayers do you have and can I pray for you right now? And with the God's timing question, it's not a question of God's timings. We don't deal in uncertainty, we deal in promise. We deal in the promise of the kingdom of heaven. And so when we're talking to people about their hurt and their pain and why do bad things happen to good people, we have to live into something that is greater than us. And I tell them about the promise of the Lord. I tell them that the promise is that there is a kingdom of heaven waiting for us. It's not on earth. It is a kingdom of heaven waiting for us where we'll be gathered together again. And here is the crux of this, is that the promise of the Lord is greater than the pain in our life. You have to know this when you're meeting people in suffering. The promise of the Lord is greater than the pain in our life. Each and every day. And yet we are afraid to walk into people's suffering. If there's one thing I can tell you today, why do bad things happen to good people? How do you stop the sufferings of the ones that you love? Is You walk into it. Please, Jesus, don't separate yourself from that. We're so scared to be in the midst of suffering. So scared. And we don't need to be.